uh, China and India, most two populated nation, and both are very ancient nation, and now economically also important. So Sino-Indian good relation is very important. Sir, uh, Mahatma Gandhi has set the best example for the freedom. They left uh, South Africa uh, for, the, for the freedom of India. So do you think that Tibetan get uh, freedom by living in India? Uh, living in India, we already enjoy freedom. Over 60 years, one way I'm a refugee. But anyway, I enjoy India's freedom. And what about the Tibetan's freedom? Tibetan freedom, uh, since 74, my way, since 74, uh, before that, we appealed UN. Uh, and at that time, Pandit Nehru advised me, United Nations cannot do much. Sooner or later, much better to approach those Chinese and uh, talk with Chinese. So, according to that sort of his, I think, realistic advice, in 74, we decide not seeking independence. Try to remain with while we remain within the People's Republic of China, we should have sort of certain right for preservation of our own culture, our own uh, faith. Now today, on this world, we Tibetan kept the ancient knowledge the thought. So I always describe myself as a student of Nalanda sort of thought. That Nalanda thought uh, is very much based on reasoning, investigation. So, uh, now some Chinese scholars who get some knowledge, uh, some sort of uh, material, some books which we publish in this country. So some some Chinese professors, you see, opportunities seeing these books, then they express Tibetan Buddhism is Nal true Nalanda tradition, and that tradition is very scientific. So that. Uh, Buddhist teaching can go side by side with modern science. So you think that uh, Tibetan uh, get the freedom by living in India? I'm asking that uh, Mahatma Gandhi has set the best example. They left uh, South Africa for the freedom of India and fight here. So yes, we had full Tibetan refugee here. We kept this knowledge. Meantime, we also, you see, uh, developed democratic uh, system. So since 2001, I completely retired. The elected political leadership, you see, carry all these uh, responsibility. So I think eventually we can teach Chinese how to practice our democracy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>